The city of San Antonio preparing for homelessness to be a big issue next year. The city's human services director pointed out in a budget work session today that the city's homeless population was up before the COVID-19 pandemic hit. City Hall reporter Garrett Berger joins us live with some of the things they'll be doing. Garrett. Well, the city's human services director, Melody Woosley, says that they've got about 7.7 million more in the proposed budget for homelessness next year. As part of that, the one thing the money will help them do is expand an outreach program citywide. Now, the outreach program that they've, the city's been operating aims to help to build trust with unsheltered homeless people in an attempt to connect them with services. That's been operating in District 10 and also in the Delview area of District 1. But the proposed budget includes money for social workers and paid interns to create homeless outreach teams for each of the 10 council districts and an additional team for downtown. While the city will continue to do encampment cleanups, the outreach team has a different aim. Addressing the hot spots, but continuing to um, build rapport with the homeless individuals so that we can have a much higher rate of success with getting them um, off the street and into uh, appropriate living conditions. As part of the city's COVID-19 pandemic response, it has been leasing space in a local hotel to use as extra shelter capacity for homeless folks, which Haven for Hope operates. Woosley says the city plans to continue that lease through at least December. Now, the city is still waiting for the final draft of its strategic homeless plan, which it had ordered from a consultant. They had expected that to arrive in April, but Woosley says because of the pandemic, that got delayed, and they're expecting it any time now. Live downtown, I'm Garrett Berger, KSAT 12 News. Thank you, Garrett. Meantime, City Council was also briefed on the plans for Metro Health's budget. More than 40% of the department's funding next year comes from CARES Act related grants. And Assistant City Manager and Acting Metro Health Director Colleen Bridger said the majority of that money must be spent by December 30th. So she said that could leave the city with a challenge on how to address the pandemic after that. Dr. Bridger said about 75% of Metro Health employees are working in COVID related roles right now, but if cases stay low, they can begin to move staff back to their regular roles.